past six. And here is Jim Gussie with his dance band. Wonders off a guy to die. Oh well, gotta do a bit more work now. See you tomorrow. See you later, son.
Hurry up there, you two. Now the time has moved on to 20 minutes to 7, and here is the Palm Beach Roomba. And now the time has moved on to 20 minutes to 7, and here is the Palm Beach Roomba. <laughs> Concentrate. Keep your back straight if you want to keep that youthful figure.
Body, 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 body. Come along. That's the girl. Heath Howell ran a successful Holden dealership in Newport from the building known today as The Hub. He was a Rotary Club president, a member of the local Chamber of Commerce, and he started the Cubs and Boy Scouts in Newport. During the boom years of the 1950s and 60s, the news agency was central to life in Newport and it was something of a social hub. Don Tweedy ran it from 1955 to 57 and he would have known the name of every person in Newport because everyone went to the news agency at least once a week. In the late 1930s, early 1940s and 1950s, Australia suffered epidemics of polio. George Shelley contracted it. Condemned thereafter to a wheelchair, George's friends would carry him down to the surf to enjoy a swim. George made a living by repairing radios because in the days before the transistor was invented they were very unreliable. The last polio epidemic in Australia was in 1956, the year the paper run was produced. The newspaper delivery car was a 1954 Vauxhall Vagabond. It was made only in Australia and just 1100 were produced by GMH. Its colour was cockatoo cream and in 1953 it retailed for £1167 or $2334. Its value today is around $33,000, an increase of 1400%. The white car that appeared in the modern shots is a Hyundai Excel. In 1998 it retailed for about $13,000 but its value today is only about $500, a decrease of about 96%. In New York, Paper Run got plenty of exposure playing as one of the shorts supporting the main feature film. Many Peninsula locals will also recall it playing at the Avalon Cinema. It looks simply magic. A beautiful colour short accompanying the black and white newsreels and serials such as The Shadow. <laughs> Between 1945 and 1965, the Australian Government ran an intensive international promotional campaign to encourage migration to Australia. The United Kingdom was targeted with schemes such as Bring Out of Britain. Potential migrants were shown paper run at Australia House in London, an enticing glimpse of their new home to be. Many of them ended up in Villawood. <laughs> 